Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the flag of our country is before us. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for this morning's announcements. Gotta have heart, minds and minds. Today is Friday, June 12th. It is our final Forte Friday as well as Spirit Day. We have seven more days of school until summer break. We're celebrating some birthdays in Harworth. <music> celebrating today is Logan Lax in grade two and Hayden Monaco in grade eight. Over the weekend, celebrating is Giselle Fermano in grade three, Mr. Doran and Mrs. Fennell. Happy birthday to all. Now, on to some jokes. Hey, Alyssa, what do you call a musical insect? A humbug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Skylar. What? What insect says one thing but does another? I don't know. What? A hippo cricket. <laughs> Hey, Nate. Yeah? What do you call a nervous fly? I don't know, what? A jitterbug. Hey, Alyssa. What? What do you call a bee that's hard to understand? What? A mumblebee. Mmm. Mmm. What's more amazing than a talking dog? I don't know. A spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bees hum? Why? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> Guess what, boys and girls? The mystery artist has struck again. He or she has created another piece of artwork, and this one is titled Waves. Check this out. I'm excited to announce that the mystery artist is going to submit one more piece of artwork and he or she is going to reveal themselves next week. Do you have a guess of who it is? I wonder who it could be. Hmm. All right. I leave you today with a message from Mrs. Winnick as well as a video submitted to me by Mrs. Baggett where she is highlighting some more of our student Olympic artwork which includes Olympic rings as well as Olympic medals. And boys and girls, you really have used some creative things to make those medals and rings. So enjoy, boys and girls. Have a wonderful weekend. And remember, Harworth has heart. Welcome to Forte Friday and the closing of our Harworth Olympics. We have some final training advice from our coach, Mr. Wolford. It is a quote that comes from Mr. Wolford himself. 
It's one that he's used to motivate athletes he has trained in the past. So here it is, this week's final edition of Wolford's Wisdom. Every team practices. It's the effort that a team dedicates at every practice that will make the difference. 100% effort, 100% of the time, equals maximum performance. This quote tells us that whenever you practice or prepare for something, you need to be trying your very best the whole time. If you're just spending time doing something but not really concentrating, you won't make much progress. So in everything you do, make your preparation time count. As we close our Haworth Olympics, always keep Wolford's wisdom in mind to help you prepare for sports, school, and life. Congratulations, Hawks. You did it. You crossed the finish line.
for the card. First you gotta have heart. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to focus on student achievement again. Uh, yesterday I posed a question and it was called the Supers Super Challenge, asking for submissions. Um, I'm still awaiting those. Please send them to me. Um, I had two questions. One is, what type of experiences did we have that we probably wouldn't have if we didn't go through this time? And number two, what positive change do you hope comes out of this experience for our school, our families, Haworth, and society as a whole? One of the things that I noticed was my students were able to find passions um, through our enrichment program. Uh, we had cultural experiences and personal narrative on culture. We had alternative energy and environmental topics, digital video production, art and creativity, cooking and science, learning about investing through the stock market game, and all are linked to our strategic plan and New Jersey student learning standards. Um, let me just show you the list of standards that we're meeting through all of these other things. Um, what about standards? These are the standards and beyond. Kids are planning and following through on projects, creativity and design, learning from failure, collaboration, digital tool use, real world problem solving, math and measurement, presentation skills, and analysis. There's a tremendous amount in, involved in the things that we're doing. And um, today I want to actually dissect one thing, which is a stock market game. Recently we had our final summative stock market game and we had somebody who, uh, uh, Mr. Carter, who took number two in northern New Jersey. Um, and he beat out a lot of high school and college kids um, in the competition, which was amazing. Um, so I wanted to look at, through the lens of a superintendent, what I see in their synopsis. And I also included a link to um, Christian Marchesio's website in the Parent Square this morning so that you can actually see the quality of what, what our kids are creating as passion projects. And let's get to it. What like what would cause you to like short a stock? Like um Well you think it's gonna go down. Yeah, because like if you were to buy like an air if you were to short an airplane company or like a cruise line company at the beginning of the pan uh, this pandemic because like my dad, he actually bought an Urgent Cruise Lines a few weeks ago because he, it's like a long-term stock because it's obviously going to go up um, after the pandemic. But if you're going to short a stock, like a cruise line, like all like when it's at like sixty dollars, like Norwegian was at sixty dollars a few months ago. If you were to short it then, it was just at twelve dollars a few weeks ago. You're making a lot of money if you do that. It was it's um, a lot better that people are buying the like cruise lines and the airplane flights now because people are starting to get less nervous about this because some of the stuff is going down. But in the beginning, everybody was so nervous, so nobody was buying that stuff, and you would just lose a whole bunch of money which, for what you paid for. People are saying that the um, coronavirus is going to come back in the fall, though. So right. maybe the stocks, maybe they're going to like become go back up and become more flat and then maybe in the fall they're going to get hit hard again mm. and then we'll become more volatile again that's what i think is going to happen right i mean the really thing that you have to look at is what the company's doing especially during this pandemic and what the company's doing like like and i bought tesla also and i think i bought it again because when i heard about their whole spacex thing I knew that Tesla was going to go up because it's all Elon Musk. Well, I bought Tesla again. It just keeps on going up, Tesla. I mean, Elon Musk is doing so much about this coronavirus. It's just going to keep on going up. And like the Apple, I bought Apple early in the pandemic because they were not they were just closing then. And I knew they were going to go up later because people are going to need help with their phones, especially during this whole pandemic when like they can't go anywhere. So they're going to be earning money from that. And people are going to want new phones during this. And just things like that. You just have to... Um, like look at like what's happening how many of you found mentors not just mr and Cotty and i but how many of you have mentors that you're actually having conversations my dad um i've had conversations with him because right before this whole thing started we really got into the game and well the actual stock market and we bought one stock that it's like a casino stock before this entire like coronavirus thing started, I think it was going to go up because a big company called Barstool Sports just bought it. They thought it was going to go up and then this whole coronavirus thing because all the casinos shut down. 
and it went down, but now it's all the way back up, and we're up like twenty dollars. So that's really how we got into this. And then when I saw this come up um, with enrichment, I knew I've been learning a lot from my dad and my grandma because um, my grandma's father also really invested in the stock market, and that's how they kind of made like a, a lot of money off of that. So then they didn't have to work very long, and um, that was just the main goal. Um. I've been having uh, a lot of conversations with my mom, with my mom's boyfriend. His name is Mark. I think that a couple of our kids actually found passions. Like, I think Logan was passionate about this. Christian, you definitely were. I think that, I mean, as I've watched you grow through this, uh, you've been really excited. I, I think it's pretty cool. Who else thinks that this is probably something that they want to pursue in their life? Yeah, Carter, all right. Yeah, so I think that at least three of you found something that you may be passionate in for life, which I think is amazing. I'm not sure that this opportunity would have happened had you still been in school, right? Yeah. So sometimes I think sometimes we have to look at these things that happen in life and realize that there are other opportunities that come out of them. And I mean, even to watch like how you guys have problem solved and how you've thought of things in different ways and been able to kind of do the these extra projects, it's pretty amazing. It shows that there's more to um, student achievement than just math and ELA scores, right? There's a lot more to life that, that actually is relevant. So mm -hmm. I'm proud of all of you. Me too. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody did well. I think we all learned lessons, that's for sure. I would do things differently for sure, but I I really tried, you know, based on the coronavirus, put my lot a lot of my money in pharmaceuticals. So I think I should have diversified a little more right from the beginning. Hi everyone, are you guys ready for our workout today? First, we're going to do our warm up and then get right into our exercises. This time, we're going to have you sit on the ground to do our warm up. Now, first, touch your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spread your feet apart. Touch one, I mean, hold one foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put your feet together like a butterfly and flap your wings up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your whatever hand you want to first, left or right, cross it over your body and hug your arm real tight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand up. Do some jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job. Now that we got the heart rate going, let's get on our hands and knees, and we're gonna do donkey kicks for our first exercise. So just do this as a donkey kick. We're gonna do uh, 10 on one leg, and then switch to the other leg and do 10 on that one. Ready, begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Stand up, grab some water. And for our next workout, 
I mean exercise, we're gonna do some push-ups. Is everyone ready? Okay, two thumbs up. Get into like your plank position or you can do the push-ups on your knees. Let's do 10, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job, everyone. Grab some water, stay on your toes. And for our next exercise, we're gonna do lunges, forward lunges. We're gonna do 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other. Is everyone ready? Thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna do a side view. First, I'm gonna use my, I mean, I'm gonna walk forward with my left leg. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to this side. Now I'm gonna use my right. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job. Grab some water. That water is actually done. I'm going to grab this, which is nice and cold. Stay on your toes. And for our next exercise, we're going to do some butt kicks. Okay, put your hands like this and then kick your heel to your, the palm of your hands. We're gonna do this for 20 seconds. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Good job. Grab some water, stay in your toes. And for our next exercise, we're gonna do 10 knee tuck crunches. Is everyone ready? Thumbs up. Okay. Sit on the floor. Hands out behind you to keep your balance. And let's do 10. Feet out like this and then crunch in. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Good job. Now, grab some water, stay on your toes. And for our next exercise, we're gonna do hopscotch. So that's just like this, where I'll hop on this foot, go to two, and then hop to switch on the other foot, like that. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, guys. Jog it out or walk, just stay on your toes. And for our very, well, actually, let me grab some water. And for our very last exercise, we're gonna do my favorite one, which is I'm a star. Because like I always say, we are all stars. So, crouch down. One, two, three. I'm a star. One, I'm a star. Two, I'm a star. Three, I'm a star. Four, I'm a star. Five, I'm a star. Six, I'm a star. Seven, I'm a star. Eight, I'm a star. Nine, I'm a star. Ten. Good job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Bye. But keep that old horse before the car. First you got